Good morning friends and welcome back to my channel. If you've noticed, the scenery has changed. I'm home for Christmas break. Super excited. I've been back for three days. Sorry I kind of look like a mess. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. We are going to do this and check out my final exam scores and my final grades for my first semester of college. When I'm going through some of them, I give you a little bit of insight, a little bit of info about how my classes were, maybe a brief reflection at the end about how college is hard for me, challenging, like what I'm looking forward to next semester. So let's just get into this. There are two exams specifically that I know where I can check my final exam score itself, and those are religion and philosophy, and I have those pulled up on my computer right now. Let's do this. For both of these exams, I thought that religion was pretty easy as the exam went. The class, it was fine. Once you figured out how to study for it, it was kind of a breeze. But for my philosophy exam, it was basically like four essay responses, technically five because I did the extra credit. So let's see how your girl did. First up, as I open up my outlook, philosophy, okay, I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. I got a 94 on my final and a 96 overall, so I got an A! That's awesome! For most of my classes, a 93 and above is an A, and that's a 4.0. A 93 and below is an A-. minus. So yeah, that's not stressful at all. Religion exam. Let's do this. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use my phone along it. I'm gonna be right back. Sorry guys, I'm back. I did do two-factor authentication. All right, final exam for religion. What did I get? I got 120 out of 125, which doing some quick maths is a 96. Boom, okay, that's good. Okay, so I probably got it. Now I'm going to check my final grades, which are in Bearweb, which is kind of like our, Bearweb kind of does everything. No, my mind is just, oh my god. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why I was like inordinately nervous about that. Elementary Chinese, I got an A. Yay! It was it was fine. Um, the class that I was most worried about not getting an A for was um, art history. Actually, well, I thought it would be okay, but I got a 93 on the midterm, but I got a 98 in our paper, and our paper was worth a lot. And the final was actually kind of challenging, which is weird because the class was like so easy. Great text. I got an A, which makes sense because like. I mean, we love this in this house, but homeboy didn't give out a lot of low essay grades. Ancient political thought, I got an A. Christian scriptures got an A. And preparing for law, I got an A. Which is weird, because that, that was definitely a pass-fail class, and I probably should have just gotten credit, but okay. So yeah, nice. Your home girl has a 4.0. We'll see how long that lasts. All right, well, these are up here. I might just talk a little bit about classes and like stuff in general. For my first semester, I actually thought my classes were surprisingly easy and almost like disappointingly so. My roommate is neuroscience and she is an absolute beast. So she's always working and studying and I was just kind of like sitting around a lot <laughs> because I almost had like study insecurity in a way because it seemed like everyone else was studying and like grinding and working super hard and just like killing themselves over their classes. And I really didn't think my classes were that hard. And I was taking 16 hours. It wasn't like I was just like slacking off and you know, taking like lifetime fitnesses for like all one hour classes. Like I was taking challenging classes. Things got a little harder towards the end of the semester, but I also learned how to study better as I moved along. And I think I'm gonna, in the future, kind of be involved in more things like clubs and extracurriculars and that sort of thing to take up my time. But on the whole, I really didn't find college that hard, which is not really so much of a statement like of vaunting my own intellectual prowess or anything because every single person's coursework is different. Every single person is so unique and different in all of your giftings. Whatever you're studying, I probably could not do as well as you're doing. And so you can't really compare GPAs or test scores or like a lot of this commonly compared stuff because we're just so very different. So I understand that. And then I see all my classmates working really hard and I know they're all working on different things that they're very passionate about, but I couldn't help feeling somewhat insecure that I felt like I wasn't doing as much as them. And I was doing really well, which is what confused me. So part of it, I was kind of upset because I go to Baylor University, of all the universities I applied to, it is not the most rigorous one out there. And it's not the most rigorous one I could have feasibly gone to. 
So I would be sitting in my room, like doing my homework and I'd be like, man, if I was at such and such school or like if I had applied here and I know in my heart that Baylor is the right place for me and I've had a fantastic time there and it's been phenomenal. I would not switch schools if I could, but these intrusive thoughts would come in kind of, I don't know, feeding upon this insecurity of mine that I wasn't doing enough or I wasn't working hard enough. It's kind of a weird phenomenon to explain. If any of you guys have felt that way, let me know in the comments so we can talk about it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about college, about my first semester, about life. If there's anything you want to know, I'm totally a resource for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble a little bit. Here's hoping they'll be able to keep up this trend for upcoming semesters. And I hope that you guys did great on your finals and your first semester grades. And I'm so proud of you regardless of how you did because we are killing it. All right, guys. See you next time.